Fuchsia hybrida, agroplants.org, also known just as Fuchsia plant. So this shrub, it can grow as perennial evergreen or can be also an annual plant. Grown uh, for the ornamental, for the flowers, uh, some can be fragrant and it attract pollinators. Uh, before we start, don't forget to subscribe and if you want to purchase this plant, uh, there is a link below, link in the right top side, and if you purchase it, this is donation for this channel. So, can grow in a variety of climate, temperate, subtropical, or Mediterranean. Possible also to grow it indoor as a house plant. And grow in hardiness hard zone from 5 to 10B. Be aware that in 10B, uh, might die over the summer, it might be too much hot, so... Here a lot of people grow it as an annual plant. The leaves color green in elliptic shape. The margin can be serrated. Fuchsia flowers are can be red, purple, white, pink, a fuchsia of course. Uh, mostly will be more than one color. Uh, the flower shape it's cone and in the middle there are four petals uh, in the out of space. So cone in the middle and four petals outer. Except this, how to grow it? So it's prefer cool climate, rich soil, mulch and moist soil. In order to grow it, you need to add fertilizer at least once a year. Put mulch, especially if you have summer, a very hot summer, I mean, and to keep it moist soil. You can start to grow it by plant seeds or cutting. Uh, if you choose to grow it by cutting, usually the temperature is supposed to be from 20 to 25 Celsius, it means 68 to 77 Fahrenheit. Uh, also, the water cannot be cold, uh, high humidity and better in full shade uh, for cuttings. And uh, switch, uh, if you put it in water, switch it every few days, better not in water. And if you grow it in soil, keep it moist and with high humidity. And don't forget to spray some water to keep the humidity. Uh, if you choose to grow it, there is an option to start by cutting. It's better, especially if you grow it as an annual plant. Uh, it will be almost impossible to make it bloom uh, from seeds in one year. From cutting, it will bloom in a few months or almost directly. A difficult uh, might die over the heat waves, especially if you are like me, have a lot of heat waves. And planting season will be spring to summer in a hardiness zone of 5 to 10A, autumn to winter in a hardiness zone of 10B. Uh, so, how to plant? So, plant it in bigger hole, add a lot of organic matter, chopped and dead leaf, hummus, organic matter, and just cover it lightly. Major pests are spider mites, aphids, white fly, and leaf hoppers. Pruning season will be all the year, better after the blooming season, but uh, better to, to just to cut all the flowers almost in the end. There is no point unless you need the seeds. Pruning its dead flowers and just for design, height of the plant will be from 20 to 70 centimeters, so it's been 8 to 28 inches. In the right condition, it will be medium growing speed, but uh, from seeds grow very slowly in the beginning. Water requirement will be average to big amount of water. Better not to let the soil dry, especially uh, in the blooming season and in the summer. When the temperature above 38 Celsius, it's been 95 Fahrenheit, uh, you should increase the amount of water. You will see that the plant drink much, much more. Light condition, full sun in cold climate, and in a warm uh, summer, the plant uh, might be burned. So, let's say half shade to full shade with light. Uh, you can also grow it as a house plant. Uh, I grow it as a house plant. It's a great house plant, and when you grow it indoor, you need to give it enough light. Uh, put the plant. Uh, in a place with good ventilation because bad ventilation or next to a heater might kill the plant. If you choose to grow it in a container, 
uh, if it's really really small you can keep it in uh, like half a gallon so it's been 2.5 liters but better from 5 to 10 liters so it's been 1 until 2 gallons require average amount of water uh, you can water it even from uh, below and not just from the top it's actually better for erosion it's take less uh, the soil out especially when here it's very very hot in the summer and it's dry uh, in the house when we open the air condition so it's really dehydrate all the time so you just drink and drink and drink uh, don't forget to switch the soil every few years and especially if you see that the soil uh, lose it a little bit uh, it require well ventilate with good drainage rich and organic matter put use potting mix or just pit soil with perlite or vermiculite and when you grow it as an annual better to use new soil mix and not the old one and uh, add fertilizer twice a year before blooming a blooming season will be from the spring to the summer in hardiness zone of uh, in every hardiness zone and in hardiness zone of 10b usually it's from the autumn to the spring uh, and this is important the, the different of a uh, blooming season it can it might bloom in the summer but it's very rare it's too much hot for the plant and the plant really suffer uh, how to grow by seeds so for more information go to growplants.org you have a link below and sorry sowing requirement will be uh, use potting mix uh, it's okay temperature of 20 to 25 celsius it means 68 to 77 fahrenheit uh, usually it will be in the spring or if you grow it in hot in a zone of 10b better in the autumn um, except this high humidity light light moist and a lot of light it doesn't have to be sun especially if it's really hot usually it's take between three to five weeks to germinate remember that the seedlings grow very slowly in the beginning so take your time don't hurry up nowhere and it's not very hard to grow it's a beautiful plant and if you would like so just grow it why not that's all from growplants.org. Don't forget to subscribe, visit our website, and of course, if you have any question, just ask. You have here links about more videos, some list, subscribe, and of course, purchase a plant, and this is donation for our channel. I hope you enjoy, and come visit us again.